Hi there. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you handle this kind of question. It's very common. In fact, you may well have done this kind of thing before with circles and parabolas. What we've got to do is find the values of m for which the line y equals mx plus 13 is a tangent to this ellipse. And the method we do, it might be easier actually if I just draw you a sketch. We've got our ellipse here where it crosses the x-axis at minus 6 and 6, that is the square root of 36 here, and the y-axis at 5 and minus 5, the square root of the 25 there. And we've got this line here, y equals mx plus 13, which could look something like this, dependent on the values of m. Now, the method, as I say, is always the same when you're handling questions like this to any curve, not just, as I say, an ellipse, but it could be circles, parabolas, hyperbolas. Because we are dealing with a tangent to a curve, there's just going to be one point of intersection. So what I'm going to be doing is substituting mx plus 13 in place of y here, and then we're going to get a quadratic equation in x. And then we use the fact that for quadratic equations, for one root, then b squared minus 4ac should equal 0. And from that, we should be able to determine the values of m. So it's a routine method. In fact, you might even want to pause the video and have a go at this question yourself. So first of all, what I'm going to say is then at the point of intersection. That's between the tangent and the curve. So if we put that up there, then what I'm going to do is substitute mx plus 13 for the y in here. So we therefore have got x squared over the 36 plus, and then for y it's going to be all of mx plus 13, and that's squared, and all divided by 25, and it equals 1. Now to save time, I'm going to, to just run through the steps which I've prepared earlier. Cleaning this up, I'm going to multiply throughout by 36 and 25. And what you're going to get then is this, 25x squared plus 36 times and I've expanded this bracket here, mx plus 13, to give us m squared x squared plus 26mx plus 169. And that's going to equal 36 times 25, which is 900. Next, all I'm going to do is expand the bracket and take 900 from both sides. And that will give us our quadratic here. And then, because we're going to have one root for this quadratic equation because it's just going to be one point of intersection, if you like, then b squared minus 4ac would equal zero for that one root. Knowing then that b is 936m, a is the 25 plus 36m squared and c is 5184, then if we substitute that into there, we get that equation. And expanding this out and cleaning up, we're going to get this. Grouping up the m squareds and adding 518,400 to both sides gives us this. And then all we've got to do is divide both sides by 129,600. And that gives us m squared equals 4, leading to m equals plus or minus 2. So a very standard method, which I'm sure you'll keep coming across in questions. So do learn that method and uh, should be able to follow up and answer questions like that. Okay.